Fatics, it is your girl Tika Deshaun. Thank you so much for tuning in to All Things Ruthless, home of the Ruthless Addicts. Yes, my video is finally complete and I can share this moment with you guys. When I had the opportunity to meet the Lenny Daikon Thomas from Tyler Perry's Ruthless, he was such an amazing soul. He came in, He it felt like we knew him for a very long time, but he was such an amazing person. He made this interview that I did with him also comfortable because I'm telling y'all I am such a fan of his and I was also nervous but it, he made it easy for me to you know to do that interview with him and he also was willing to hug next and shake hands with fans who paid to come and see him as well as two other fans that received FaceTime calls with Lenny Thomas how amazing is that this man took the busiest day of his life to come out and hang with us for a day and so now I am going to bring to you this ruthless conversation with the Lenny Daikon Thomas I hope you guys enjoy what's good all my ruthless addicts it is your girl Tika Deshaun and look I got a surprise for y'all through the grace of God, we got somebody so, so special. Y'all know I'm a fan. I'm trying to contain my excitement right now. But today, I want to introduce to you all the Lenny Daikon Thomas. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in and supporting Ruthless at its Cares. Um, it is our goal to help one single mom at a time. And I promise through your face, through your name, you've allowed us to do that today. So thank you so much for being here. Happy to be here. All right, now let's get to the hard question. Because when I first saw you as a fan, you know what you did? You hit my girl Tally. <laughs> Tyler made me do it. I'm sorry, Tyler, but you did. I'm still mad about that, but I won't hold it against, I won't hold it against you. <laughs> I'm mad too. I, right before we did that scene, I was like, you know, I love you, right? Wow. Wow. And then, so Mr. Perry takes you guys into some deep, dark characters. How do you, as Lenny Thomas, prepare to be that guy? Ooh, it's, when you when you realize the, the amount of work that's in front of you, you, you really just gotta dive in. You can't think twice. You, you know, and have faith that, um, what you call it, your, your castmates will be receptive and will give you back what you need. But your imagination is infinite, so, I could I could tap into Daikon at any second, you know what I mean? Because I'm 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 also I'm also very familiar with my dark side, and I've made peace with that side where that I can control it. And you know I, I base Daikon off a lot of you know messed up men that I happen to grow up around, um, and so it's easy to just tap into them that source or those sources. Uh, the hard part is letting it go after the fact because you know you spend so much time preparing uh, pre uh, preparing for these moments for these scenes and then all of a sudden it's over but all that still is all that stuff is still living inside of you so like you know therapy is a beautiful thing meditation is a beautiful thing and you know coming back to center with intention is ridiculously important absolutely you know? absolutely i'm glad you mentioned that about you know therapy and all of that stuff because it's very important to in order to transition especially from a character that you are playing portraying you you absolutely need that extra outlet yeah. to come back to reality. Oh, so, yeah. who is Lenny Thomas? He is the motivator you didn't know you needed. He's a sense, he's a, he's a, he's a source of light. He is a clown and a lover of love. And uh, he wants to see everyone tap into their deepest greatness because that's what he's striving for himself. Absolutely. So you mentioned love mm -hmm. and I know this is a Touch a subject, but you recently lost a love, mm -hmm. a friend, a everything, pretty much. Um, how are you personally coping with that situation? It's, I mean, every day is hard. It's, it's getting easier, but it's, it's, you know, I'm gonna be dealing with this for the rest of my life. The thing is, like, I feel her presence with me all the time. And she was such a creature of love. She told me what love really is, outside of my own mother, you know what I mean? And you know, a mother's love is, is is automatic, but 
to get that you know same kind of you know strength in love through someone else is you know that's a gift that's a blessing so I'm thankful for all the times we had together I have all these beautiful memories I have all these beautiful videos of us living our lives together like the person you see in front of you is here because of her presence in my life so everywhere you see me you see her you, just, you may not know it you know what I mean I feel with me every day every moment of every day and I'm, I'm blessed to have that the hardest times is in the morning and in, at night time because you know you know you reflect the most you're the most sensitive during those times and the fact that she's not physically here anymore it hurts like hell you know what I mean yeah. but um as she was dealing with depression so if she's no longer in physical pain I'm not mad that she had to go you know what I mean I'm, right. I'm you know as hard as that is to say like I'd rather her not be suffering you know what I mean than to be just to be here for you know but yeah it's, it's forever gonna be tough you know I have too much to do also. Like, I can't stop now. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that with us. And mentioning you have so much more to do. Can you please let everybody know what it is that you're directing right now? Oh, so um, there is a, a short film I directed that a friend of mine wrote. We shot it at my apartment here in Atlanta. Um, that is now doing you know, its rounds in multiple festival uh, circuits. But uh, it's it's um it's another story about love. I mean, what, what's what's that, that? You know, time tale as old as time. You can talk about love forever and every day, and it won't get old. Right. You know what I mean? But this particular story is like these these two characters coming together after years of being apart, trying to find closure. You know, after a relationship gone awry, right? right. Um, but that's not what I just came from. I came. From, I, there's a, I'm I'm uh, producing and acting in a, a digital series. Um, uh, called typecast, which is it's a dramedy. It's a, you know it's, I'm, I'm playing with my comedic chops, which you know everyone's used to seeing me in a in a serious role, but it is hysterical. You know what I mean? I, like there are times when we were shooting this thing where people, you know, ruined a take because we were laughing so dang much. Like the, you know the the, the actors, <laughs> the the crew, the director himself. Like he was in there was there was a couple times my director was in tears in the middle of shooting so i'm like i can't wait to show this to the world what because yeah it's um but also it's it's also another another uh story that sh you know shows you what happens when you let go of your biases and tap into love and then allow that to guide you instead of being lost in you know the leaders that fail us in their direction you know what i mean absolutely yeah absolutely well, listen, I am not going to hold you much longer. I absolutely appreciate this. I promise you, I got a thousand questions that I can ask we can you. We can go all night. Don't play with me. And don't trust. Don't. don't, don't. <laughs> but with that being said, once again, I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking out time of your busy schedule to be here with us. Rufus Addis Cares, absolutely appreciate it. The Lenny Daikon Thomas fan page Jeez. appreciates it. Nah, nah, okay, nah, the gosh. original TP Rufus fans appreciate it. We're everywhere, okay? I so, love we love you back. But with that being said, let everybody know where they can find you and any other projects that you have that they need to be following, such as Drift. Yes, so there's a short film called Drift that is about to do its uh, rounds in uh, the, the festival circuit. Beautifully shot, another story about love. Oh, what's this? There's a reoccurring theme happening here. Um, there is, oh, there's there's two two or three projects I'm about to, I probably won't direct, but one I wrote, all of them I'm producing. Like, next year is about to be huge. Like, this year was already huge. Um, yeah, just, just more, on that, more on that later, but you can find me, Lenny Thomas, across all platforms, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I try to be responsive to the responsible fans. Some people be wilding in my DMs. See, I'll be wilding in my DMs. I mean, I want to show love, but yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Before we end that, what has been the worst or the, I don't even know if you want to call it raunchiest, ratchet, most ratchet <laughs> message you've received if you can reveal that? And y'all stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get. Some people just say the weirdest and wildest things, but I got a request. Someone's like, I will pay you for pictures of your toes. I'm like, 
You want these talents? You want to see my talents, bro? <laughs> and it was a dude. I'm like, yo. Whoa. See, playing, playing a pansexual character on a TV show, right. people got to be all the way messed up. <laughs> it's all right. It's all good. It's, as long as it's love, I'll show you love. But, but don't wild out on me, all right? Absolutely. Y'all leave Lenny alone, okay? <laughs> leave him alone. He is not Daikon. He has proven that today that he is not Daikon. There's a major difference between Lenny. Now, he plays Daikon absolutely well, but there's a very big difference. So, once again, thank you so much, Mr. Thomas, for being here. I appreciate you. And to the ruthless ex out there, y'all, stay ruthless. Hey.